Welcome to March 2023. Here's our housing market report from the Fort Collins Board of Realtors. Let's take a look at our digits. All right, so um, it doesn't look dramatic, right? And that's wonderful. Uh, we were reviewing this earlier and realizing these aren't double digits, we're single digits. So our change hasn't been dramatic from last year, which is wonderful. New listings are still down almost 10-ish percent, right? 8.79% and 7.9% on pending sales. So those two compared to last year, same month, they're both down that roughly 10%. Um, so that's our, how many houses are coming on the market? How many of them are getting absorbed? Um, that's this data set. Uh, here's our price. This is what most people kind of focus on is our median and our average sales price. Um, up 2%, uh, down 0.02%. So almost flat on our average and our median is up at roughly 3% over last year. So that's a fun thing to see. We're, we're seeing this market that had climbed so rapidly finally kind of tapering off. It's not, um, it's not accelerating crazy. It's not dropped. Um, it's a more of a stable market, which is what something we all like. We like predictability as we're trying to sell a giant asset or buy a giant asset. And so this little um, kind of return to predictability is nice. Days on market is kind of our big one. Hey, if you're a seller out there, uh, last year, your house would have sold in 47 days. That was the average. This year, 66 days, right? So we're adding another half month onto your sale, a little more than that. And so uh, kind of stick with it, right? Be okay with a couple more weeks of marketing. Um, push your agent to um, have, a, have a marketing plan that maybe rolls some new things out each week. Uh, do some things that make sure your house stays fresh so that you're not sitting on the market going, ooh, what's going on? First, be prepared for it. Second, have a plan for it and then have confidence in it. So that, that's a good way to proceed. Um, so that's our, that's our overview. Now let's look at our top and our bottom over here. Here is March's least expensive single family home. Uh, I don't know if I've ever shared this with you guys. I take out things that aren't livable. So if it has structural damage to a floor, if it's a, if it's a duplex instead of a single family, um, those kinds of things, I just kind of cull those out of our group. And I go with kind of that traditional, what can I move right into home? Um, and here it is. 3750 Celtic Lane, three beds, two bath, 1300 square feet um, for 399. So that's our least expensive home. And here's our most expensive home, 2400 Terry Lake Road, 2.6 million, five bed, six bath on almost 10 acres right across the road here. Uh, this is, I believe, Terry Lake Road. Um, and so there's the reservoir, beautiful uh, view out there on 10 acres. Uh, it, it's kind of hard to find in Fort Collins. Um, fun thing about our top and our bottom, our most expensive and least expensive home in March, both in the 80524 zip code. Uh, that doesn't happen all the time, but there they are, top and bottom. Um, if you want to see either of these houses, you want to see any of the houses in between, reach out to us and we'll show them to you.